Hello students, welcome to our channel. In this class, we are going to learn about disjoint set operations. So, what is a set? A set is a collection of distinct elements. That means, in set there is no duplication of elements. If you observe that S1 equals to 1, 2, 5, 10, all are distinct. So, what is disjoint sets? The disjoint sets are those do not have any common element. So, those sets we called as a disjoint sets. If you observe that, so this is the set S1, so this is the set S2. So, S1 contains elements 1, 7, 8, 9, S2 contains 2, 5, 10. Now, you observe that in these two sets, there is no common element. So, we call S1 and S2 are disjoint sets. So, disjoint set operations are union and fine. In this lecture, we are going to learn about, so how we are going to perform union operation and find operation in disjoint sets. So, union. So, first we see union operation. If S1 and Sj are two disjoint sets, then their union S1 union Sj consists of all the elements x such that x is in Si or Sj. Example, S1 equals to 1, 7, 8, 9, S2 equals to 2, 5, 10. Now, S1 union S2. Okay, here I equals to 1, J equals to 2. So, S1 union S2 is 1. Now, 1 is in S1, 2, 2 is in S2, 5, 5 is in S2, 7, 7 is in S1, 8 is in S1, 9 is in S1, 10 is in S2. So, what is the definition of union? If Si and Sj are two disjoint sets, here S1 and S2, so these two are the disjoint sets then their union S1 union S2 consists of all the elements x such that x is in Si or Sj. Here the x is 1, 2, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, next operation is find operation. Given the element i, find the set containing i. S1 equals to 1, 7, 8, 9, S2 equals to 2, 5, 10, S3 equals to 3, 4, 6. Then, if I write find of 2, so find of 2 means given the element i, here the i is 2, find the set containing i, i contains in which set? S2. So, the answer is S2. This is the find operation. Here find 4, 4 is in S3, 5, 5 is in S2, 7, 7 is in S1. Now, we see how to represent a set. The set will be represented as the tree structure when all children will store the address of parent or root node. The root node will store null at the place of parent address. If the given set of elements, any element can be selected as the root node, generally we select the first node as the root node. So, for example, S1 equals to 1, 7, 8, 9, S2 equals to 2, 5, 10, S3 equals to 3, 4, 6. Now, I want to represent these sets as tree structure. How? If the given set of elements, here the given set of elements are 1, 7, 8, 9, any element can be selected as root node. In this 1, 7, 8, 9, you select any element as a root. So, generally, we consider first element as a root node. So, here the first element is 1. So, this is the 1 is a root node. The remaining numbers 7, 8, 9. So, these are the children's to the parent 1. So, this is how we represent set. How we represent the set? We represent in the form of tree. That means root. So, remaining are children's. So, 1 element is acts as root, the remaining elements is children to that root. Okay. Here S2 equals to 2, 5, 10, 2 is root, 5, 10 are the children's. 
Similarly, S3 equals to 3, 4, 6, 3 is root and 4, 6 are the children. So, disjoint union. To perform disjoint set union between two sets SI and SJ can take any one root and make it subtree of the other. Let us discuss with one example. S1 equals to 1, 7, 8, 9. S2 equals to 2, 5, 10. Now, so first we represent the set in the form of tree. This is the tree. So, 1, 7, 8, 9 and S2 is 2, 5, 10. Now, we are going to find S1 union S2. What is S1 union S2? This is the union operation you are going to perform on two sets S1 and S2. Now, you can take any one root. You can take any one as a root. So, for example, if I consider, so 1, 7, 8, 9, in this the root is 1 and make it subtree of the other. Now, I make this tree as a subtree to another tree that is 2. For example, 2, 5, 10. So, this is another tree. For this, I am going to make as a subtree. So, this is the graphical representation. So, 1, 7, 8, 9, 2, 5, 10. This is one representation. Another representation is for 2, 5, 10, the 1, 7, 8, 9 is a subtree. In the first case, 2, 5, 10, I make as a subtree here. So, this is the S1, this is the S2. Now, S1 union S2 means I make second set as a subtree to the tree. Here also same, S1 union S2. Here, I make S1 as a subtree to the S2. Okay. So, next operation, find. To perform find operation, along with the tree structure, we need to maintain the name of each set. Now, what is the set name here? So, this is the set S1. So, this is the S2. So, this is the S3. Here, you are going to perform find operation. To perform the find operation, we require T structure and we need one data structure to store each set name. So, we require one more data structure to store the set names. The data structure contain two fields. One is set name and other one is pointer to the root. Pointer means the address, address of the root. Now, so this is the data structure. This is the data structure. The data structure have two fields. One is to represent set name, another is to represent pointer. So, for example, here S1 address is 1001. I put 1001 is here. That means, S1 pointer is 1001. Let us assume the address of 2 is 2001. Now, I put 2001 in S2 pointer. Similarly, S3 3001, I put 3001 in S3 pointer. Okay. Now, what is the find? So, find means you are giving one element. Now, you are going to find that the element belongs to which set. If I give the 6 as input, 6 root is 3, so 3 is in S3, so it returns 3 as a output, 3 represents set 3. In next lecture, we are going to discuss about union and find algorithms. Thank you.